Hi, my name is Heidi and I'm an artist. I am going to show you how to do a quick drawing of a forget-me-not flower. All right, we're going to do the center of the flower. Um, with the forget-me-not, it has these series of circles that outline this little green section. The petals, you don't draw too dark because after it's down, it's there for good. Each petal has its own kind of character to it. Make sure it doesn't look too much like the one that you've just drawn. Um, make it a little bit longer, or a little bit wider. Have a little bit of a crease here and there. So that it looks like the real thing in nature. You don't see everything in your image. Exact replicas. My background color is going to be green. So I don't I don't want um, a stark line of blue here. So it looks too much like a graphic instead of a artistic rendition. So I'm going to add my background colors in now, kind of solidify what I've done. You need to make sure that you put some variance in it because if you have it all the same green all the way around, it's not going to be very interesting. So I'm making it a little lighter here, so it kind of fades in a bit, darker to emphasize the intersection that's occurring. And with this being a rough drawing, it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth or I'm going to add a little character with some lines in there. I'm going to also go into the the petals a bit, add a little more character for them. A little indents and what have you. Keep working those colors together, but right now we're going to move on to the important part, the flower. Fill in the middle. Put some real bright yellow in there. Take a darker yellow and just keep on outlining it. Add a little bit of yellow inside with this green. And now I'm going to take a brown so that we can really emphasize some contrast here. Add the final touches to the center. I'm not doing solid lines, just kind of moving my pencil back and forth a bit. Now there is white, um, there, are, there are white sections of the flower that remain completely white. So we need to be very careful because even with a white pencil, you can't cover up fully the colors that you place down. So I'm going to kind of outline those white sections so I don't miss them. It almost kind of makes a W. Now I'm going to keep with my lighter blue. I have some darker blues as well that I can add in later to create interest. But I'm going to start with the darker patches of the petals and kind of build it outward from there. I'll just keep spreading the color. Obviously it's a blue flower, so it's going to have a lot more added in later, but if you go too far, 
you can erase to a certain extent. You can add white to a certain extent, but you don't want to taint it too quickly. All right. Now, let me go back to these dark spots again and keep on adding. Kind of expanding it, but just gently. Make sure that you avoid those white areas. Okay, this line needs a little more defined. Yeah. Add that in. And I'm kind of lost where my white is. There we go. Nice dark patch there. Start patch here. And adding my more vibrant color, especially here at the intersection. Really adds a little punch to it. Really excited and add too much all at once. Yeah, those little indents and make it look more natural. Okay. The thing about the white with these colored pencils is kind of does this blending effect to it. Bring some of the colors into the middle. And I've noticed that this petal is missing a little bit of oomph. Let's go back in and see how this has a lot of more contrast. It seems pretty dull to me, so I'm just going to add a little more with this brighter color. And we're getting there. And you could keep fussing for hours. You am going to take just a little bit of this green. It really makes some stark lines fade into the background here. Really throw some punch in. I'm going to add a little more of it into this. It's kind of nice how it draws it out. And like I said, you could keep fussing and working your magic until you have a finished product. Alright, as I'm expanding the background, just wanted to say thank you for joining me and I hope that I was able to teach you something about drawing, something about the um, formation of a piece of art.